we're jumping straight into the tutorial today and I am priming my eyes first. I'm doing this because I really want this shadow to be bold on the lids. So I'm using this crayon from Jouer and it's in the shade Abstract. And I just applied that all over the lid and then I'm just kind of buffing out those edges so it's not so harsh. But this is really just going to make that eyeshadow that we apply later really pop on the lids. Heading into shadows, I'm going to pick up Peach Smoothie first from Makeup Geek. This is just one of my favorite transition shades. It's just perfect. So I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush and I'm blending those edges out even further and really starting to give some definition to the crease. This is just going to help everything blend really nicely and make sure that we don't have any choppiness. Now to start building some definition in the crease, I'm taking a little bit more of a precise brush and I'm picking up the shade Americano. This is such a beautiful rich chocolate brown and it's not too red. It's pretty close to Cocoa Bear but it doesn't have as much red in it so it looks really really great with the light color that we're going to use today. And you can see I am taking this all the way from outer corner to inner corner. I'm keeping it really rounded as far as the shadows go. Now with this really precise blending brush from Morphe, this is a really great brush for the crease work. I picked up the shade Corrupt, which is just a matte black shade, mixed with a little bit of that Americano, and I dusted off my brush, so I'm just adding a little bit of this into the crease. I just wanted to make the look a little bit more smoky and have more definition. The star of the show for this look is this Peacock Shadow from Anastasia. This is one of her fall shadows. So I wet my brush. This is an Elite brush from Morphe. And I just sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus and I am packing that all over the lid. As soon as I saw this shade, it just stood out to me and I knew I had to use it. And I think it's just such a gorgeous color. You definitely could leave it here, but I wanted to add just a little bit more of an interest. So I'm taking Glitterati from ColourPop and I'm just popping that onto the very center of the lid. This is just going to bring so much more attention to your eyes and I just love the effect of it. Whenever you close your eyes, it just adds such a nice little pop of interest. So I love doing this to really just jazz up any kind of look. And then I'm going in with my liquid liner. You guys know the drill, NYC liquid liner, and I am doing a wing. And because this is such a smoky look, I will be lining my waterline. I'm tight lining first with this liner from Pixie. And this is the first time I ever used any of their liners and I really enjoyed it. This one's actually a slate gray. I think it just looks really nice with this look. And then I'm going in with my Benefit Roller Lash because you guys know it's my favorite mascara. And then I'm going in with my Lily Lashes, which are my favorite mink lashes. And I love this style because it's not too long and in your face, but it still gives you that drama that you want. Moving on to skin, I am using my Ultra HD Stick Foundation from Makeup Forever. This is such a beautiful foundation. It gives you high, full coverage, but it also still looks really natural and luminous on the skin. You can see it just gives my skin like such a nice glow, and it doesn't cover everything. Like It makes my skin look really nice and flawless, but it doesn't cover up all my freckles and everything like that, so I really love that. And then I am going in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and just going over my dark circles to help combat those babies. And then I'm going over that with my Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. And I'm just going over my under eyes and then I'm also going to highlight with this. So I'm taking that around the sides of my mouth where I can get some darkness. Also on the upper part of my lip on the Cupid's bow. Down the center of my nose and then in the center of my forehead. And you know the drill, just blend all of that out. And I love to use a sponge. You can use a sponge or a brush, but I really love this Real Technique sponge. And I always use it damp. It just gives such a beautiful effect to the foundation as well as a concealer. So once I have all that blended in, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm applying a pretty generous amount, and then I'm going to let that sit and bake while we move on to the rest of the face. To warm up the skin, I'm taking this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in a big fluffy brush and just going around my temples and along my jawline, my cheekbones, just giving my skin a little bit of life. And I love this bronzer because this is one of those bronzers that it's really hard to go overboard with. It just gives you the perfect amount of color. And then I'm going in with Shadow Play from Kat Von D and I am just going along my cheekbones, keeping it pretty close to my hairline. I'm not bringing this down too far. And then I'm also going to take a little bit along my temples, the sides of 
of my chin and under my chin and then also I'm going to be contouring my nose and I couldn't find my M507 brush I know it's a sad day so I just went back to this little one from Morphe this is also a really great one for contouring your nose And of course, blend out that nose contour because you don't want to leave it looking that harsh. And then I'm just brushing away that excess powder. And you can see not a ton is leaving my face. It really does sink into the skin. And then I'm using this blush from Benefit. This is in the shade Dallas. And this may be one of my new favorite blushes. I don't know what I've been doing sleeping on this blush because it is stunning. It is like a mauve bronzy blush and it's just beautiful. And then I'm taking the same liner that we did our upper waterline with and I lined my bottom waterline as well as taking this on the lower lash line to really smudge it out. So I took the shade Corrupt mixed with a little bit of that brown shade that we have in our crease as well and I'm just really buffing that out. And this part is totally optional but I did spritz that same brush and then I went into Peacock and added just a little bit of that to the lower lash line. I think it just kind of pulls it all together. And then for my highlight I'm using Lunch Money and I'm using this on the eyes as well as the face. So I'm applying that to the arch of my brow and also to the inner corners of my eyes. I love the ColourPop highlighters. If you haven't tried them out they are seriously so good. So I'm taking that on my ring finger and applying that to the nose. Then I'm also going to take a little bit on my chin, my cute Cupid's bow and of course the highest points of my cheeks. I decided I wanted my inner corners to shine just a little bit more so I'm actually taking Glitterati that we have in the center of our lid and I spritz that same brush with some MAC Thick Plus and then I just apply that to the inner corners to really make them pop. And then I am using Soar Lip Liner from MAC. This is the perfect lip liner to go with the liquid lipstick that we're using today. So I just line my lips and then I lightly fill them and then I'm going over that with Gerard Cosmetics Sheer Liquid Lipstick. If you only get one liquid lipstick from them, get this shape. This is absolutely beautiful and because I'm a glossy girl and I just think it looks beautiful paired together, I'm just taking a little bit of Shimmer of Hope and dabbing that in the center of my lips and then once you get that on, your whole look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!